get you going down of the big lake they call get you gooby. Lakey said never gives up her debt when the skies of November turn gloomy. With a load of iron ore, 26,000 tons more than the Edmund Fitzgerald weighed empty. That good ship and true was a bone to be chewed when the gales of November came early. The ship was the pride of the American side, coming back from some mill in Wisconsin. As the big friends go, it was bigger than most, with a crew and good captain well seasoned, concluding some terms with a couple still firms when they left fully loaded for Cleveland. Then later that night, when the ship's bell rang, could it be the north of wind they'd been feeling? Sound when the wave broke over the railing. And every man knew, as the captain did too, was the witch of November come stealing. The dawn came late and the breakfast had to wait when the gales of November came slashing. When afternoon came, was freezing rain in the face of a hurricane west wind. When supper time came, the old cook came on deck. Saying, fellas, it's too rough to feed you. At 7 p.m., a main hatchway came in. He said, fellas, it's been good to know ya. Captain wired it, he had water coming in, and the good ship and crew was in peril.
Detroit they pray in the Maritime Sailors Cathedral. Man on the Edmund Fitzgerald. The legend lives on from the Chippewa down of the big lake they call Kitchigumi. Superior, they said, never gives up her dead when the gales of November come early. Don't forget to subscribe.